What's going on guys? Adam Snyder here with Homemade Entrepreneur and today I want to show you how to make $3,000 per month creating simple websites. Yes, these are simple websites. I'm going to show you the template that I use and how you can start making money. It's actually very simple, all right? So $3,000 a month. What that means is you're going to make about $100 a day. But I'm going to show you something that makes you $500 a month because it's a whole lot easier. And if you divide that by 30 days in a month, you only have to make about $16.66 per day. Now, how does this strategy actually work? What I'm actually gonna do is we're gonna use the power of Google. Yes, I absolutely love Google, been using them for a long time, okay? And they're the ones that send me the majority of my traffic to all my affiliate sites. Yes, these are affiliate sites. Now, how do I create these affiliate sites? Let me walk you through the articles that I write. And now I'm gonna show you examples, all right? So these are my must-have articles. There's only 10, okay? There's only 10 articles, and every single article is in between 1,500 and 2,500 words, okay? Here's what I do. For example, product alternatives. For example, let's go over here. Let's go to iPhone X Plus alternatives. Okay, see right here, alternative. Okay, so I'm not telling you to go after iPhone. Definitely not, wrong idea. What I'm telling you to do is, let's say we come over here and we're gonna go search for, um, let's say, uh, uh, Sonicare toothbrush, okay? We're gonna go after Sonicare toothbrush. That's gonna be our product. So we come here, so we're gonna have Sonicare is going to be our product. So if we come here, let's go here to Sonicare, Sonicare toothbrush alternative. Okay. And people are going to search for this stuff. Okay. May not search for the exact phrase, but you're going to get the idea in just a second. So the best electronic toothbrushes for 2018. Look at that. That's the number one thing. Okay. If we come here, uh, where is it? Um, how to choose the best product category, not product. That would be electric toothbrush, electronic toothbrush. And you can you know mess around with the, the words if you want to, right? So that's one of the things we're going to do. We're going to choose a product. We're going to write an article on the Sonicare toothbrush or the Sonicare. Let's pick a toothbrush. Let's, let's see a good one. And I want one that's going to be at least... $50. Okay. Um, let's see. This one probably has the most. Philips Sonicare 2 uh, plaque control. Um, that one's $57. The most reviews, four star. Uh, I think that would be a good one. Okay. So that would be the one I'd go after the Philips Sonicare 2. So it'd be Philips Sonicare 2 alternatives. Things you must, must know before buying the Philips Sonicare 2 electronic toothbrush. Pros and cons of the Philips Sonicare 2, you know, electric toothbrush. Where to buy a Philips Sonic 2 uh, electronic toothbrush for the best price. How to properly use and a Philips uh, what, Sonicare 2. Uh, and you can also do how to properly use an electronic toothbrush. Top 10 electronic toothbrushes or top 10 electronic toothbrushes by Philips. Top 10 electric toothbrushes in 2018. You get the picture. How to choose the best electronic toothbrush, electric toothbrush, vibrating toothbrush, whatever you want to use. Okay, you can, you can kind of mix it up a little bit. But I always recommend start your website with 10 articles, right? We're creating a very simple website. Yes, there's you know 10 articles. If you write them all the way, you know, 2,500 words per article, you can be having you know 25,000 words in your website, but the key here is it's just going to provide more traffic to you, right? Benefits of a electronic toothbrush, okay? Uh, electronic toothbrush buyer's guide, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2054, whatever year we're in, right? Let's go talk about some of the requirements. Can the cool part here, let me show you this really quick. So let's say it's a $50 toothbrush and you get paid 5%. Okay, I, I know it's right around there. I'm just gonna use 5% just across the board. It's easiest to use. We get paid $2.50 per toothbrush we sell. 
Now, if we want to make $500, okay, it's pretty simple math, but I'll do it on the calculator anyway. Okay, divide by 250, we need to make 200 sales per month, or we need to make 6.66 .66 sales per day of that exact toothbrush. But here's the cool part. What if they buy the toothbrush? Okay, 50 bucks. Then they also buy toothbrush heads, another 25. Let's say they decide to buy um, some toothpaste, there's eight dollars. Let's say they decide to buy some floss, um, let's say that's 350. Let's say they also decide to buy some mouthwash, um, let's say that's five dollars. Let's say they also decide to buy, uh, you know, another a whitening kit, okay, that's 35 dollars. 126 dollars and 50 cents, and if we uh, do five percent of that, that's six dollars and 32 cents. Okay, so 632, if we, 500 divided by 6.32, that equals 79, or that means 2.63 sales per day. Now, obviously, the math is a little bit off. Everyone's not going to buy all that stuff, and everyone's not going to buy the $50 toothbrush. It's going to be somewhere in between there, all right? So just be aware of that. Now, what I want you to understand is, I'm showing you how to make $500 a day from this website. Okay, it's a very simple website. Or not $500 a day, excuse me, $500 per month. Okay, the reason why I want to show you $500 per month is because $500 per month is not a lot of money. We already talked about this. $500 by 30, you make $16 per day. Okay, so $17 per day is a lot easier to achieve than if you need to make $100 per day. Because if you can do this from one website and you have success with it, then you can replicate it. You can do it in other things as well. And you're not reliant and you're not you know, strictly relying on just that one website that you have to make all your money. You have you know, 10 different websites making your money or in this case, six. Okay, Because if each one makes 500, you want to make $3,000 per month or $100 a day, you need to have six websites pulling about the same numbers. Okay, Let's talk about the requirements. Again, it's all gonna be fairly easy, always straightforward. This is pretty much how every single one of my websites is laid out right now. And for our requirements, we link to three products per page. So what that means is, if I'm talking about this Philips Sonicare 2 series plaque control rechargeable electric toothbrush, I'm gonna link to that one. I may also talk about uh, this Oral-B White Pro 1000 power rechargeable to electric toothbrush. I may also talk about uh, if you want something a little bit you know, better, something that, you know, has, you know, another feature. This has the pressure pressure sensor, and it's in black. You know, check out the Philips Sonicare Protect Clean 5100 Gum Helm, okay? And I'm not going to name the price or anything like that. I'm just going to put a link to it. And those are going to be my three links over to the products pages over on Amazon. I will also link to my homepage. So if this is, I'm talking about electronic toothbrushes, let's go to my sites electronic toothbrushes um you know guide.com or hq.com or pro.com i'm going to link to electronic toothbrushes guide.com and i'm also going to link to two other articles um inside my site so if i'm doing my page on uh or how to choose the best electronic toothbrush maybe i'm also going to uh talk about if you know let's say i'm going to link to where to buy the, the product at the best price. Also, things you must know before buying the product. So I want them to read these two before they go and buy because the more times they read my articles and see what I'm talking about, see that I'm recommending a certain product, chances are it's gonna go higher that they're gonna buy that said product. Also, one thing I do, I always choose one main product. So for example, right here, my main product, let's say it is the Philips Sonicare 2. However, I have a bunch of different products that I recommend because I don't want to just fixate on that one product and be like this is the best one for everybody out there because that's not always the case. Some people who can afford a better toothbrush and want the added features, they might want this one right here, the Philips Sonicare Diamond Clean. Okay? But they might not. They might just want this one or the Oral B or some basic one that they can find at Target or Walmart for seven bucks. I have no clue. But I don't want to alienate anybody and say, this is the one you have to get. I give a bunch of options. Okay. Let's keep going. I also include three images. And every single image I include, if it's a picture of, uh, 
this product right here. I'm going to put a picture of that, but I'm also going to put an affiliate link. So if they ever click on that picture, it goes straight to Amazon where they can buy the product and hopefully I get commission. Also, here's something that's off site, but I will create 20 off site uh, blog comments and I will link to some of the inner pages of my art of my website. So some of the actual articles instead of the home page. You guys have any questions so far? Let me know down in the comment section below. I know, I know there's a lot of stuff I'm talking about. Some things are probably going over your head, but this is exactly what I'm using. Okay, and I, no, I'm not. I'm not saying every single website I have makes $500 a month. On average, it's right about five to six hundred dollars from all my websites. However, I have a bunch of different websites. Some make you know a hundred dollars. I have a few that are making less than a hundred dollars. I have some that are making well over a thousand. So you just gotta understand. Some you can put in more work because they're making more money. Some you'll let them die down. Some you will sell. Some you'll just completely get rid of. But the goal here is to keep adding more and more websites so you can make more money. So once I do the off-site blog comments, those are just some links to point to my site to try to get some traffic, try to get some flow to it. Um, and it doesn't do a whole lot, but it helps out a little bit. Also, Anytime I add a new article, I'm going to put one of those images over on Pinterest. I'll create a Pinterest account for that exact website, and I'll try to keep it updated every time I create one new article. Also, I'm going to create one Facebook page, and I'm going to link to my blog. I'm not going to keep it updated that often. However, anytime I do put a new article, I'm going to add that article into the page. And I'll also create a Twitter profile, which is going to give me another link back to my website. Again, doesn't help out a lot, but that little bit does count. So the time frame to make $500 a month, how long does it take? Typically, it takes about two months. And when I say two months, I mean day one, you upload okay, two articles. Day two, you upload two articles. Day three, another two. Day four, another two. Day five, another two. So by the end of day five, you have all 10 articles up on your site. Okay, And when you do this, What's going to happen is your website should be able to, it may not rank very quickly inside Google. However, it should get indexed very quickly because you're keeping it updated. You're adding new content. You're putting links on other sites. You have a picture on Pinterest. You have a, an account on Facebook, and you also have a link on Twitter. All those things should help you get indexed into Google, even Yahoo and Bing very fast. All right? So it should take you about two months to get to $500. But that only means that the first month, you did 10 articles. The second month, you only did four. This is what most people don't do. They do the 10 articles. When I say most people, I've, I've probably taught people, I probably taught a few hundred people this exact same method just in 2018 and 2017 alone. But the majority of people that I, that I teach this to, they always come back to me and say, like, well, my site kind of died down. How do I fix it? Well, you add more articles. It's called maintenance. Okay. And so it's not 100% passive income. It's more like an 80% passive income stream. However, you put in that little bit of work or you're making $500 a month, then you take $100 of that and you invest $25 per article and you have somebody else write it for you. So then you're making money. It's 100% passive. All you have to do is ask them to write an article. They write it. They send it to you. You send them the money. So it's more like 99% passive at this point, okay? But that's the whole goal. That's where most people struggle is they don't do the maintenance. They're trying to get this instead of two months. They want to do it in one day. That's not going to happen. I can tell you that right now. Two months, two, I'd say two to three months is your ideal time frame to get to $500 per month. Now, I've had websites and I've had people do it as well who made over $500 in their first month, but you pick topics, you pick products that are uh, people are really interested about. For example, let's say there's a new uh, Philips Sonic Air toothbrush that's coming out and it's just all the hype and uh, you know, people are going viral with it, whatever. And maybe you decide, yeah, I want to talk about that. Or, you know, back in 2016 or 17, whenever the, the whole Yeti mask and the lady with the mask came on, that sold like it just went out the door. Nobody could keep it in stock. Even Amazon was struggling to keep it in stock. So if you create a website on that, 
Okay, on the the Yeti mask alternatives, things to know before buying the Yeti mask, pros and cons of the Yeti mask. There would have been a l bunch of hype, so you would have made more than five hundred dollars in your first month. However, you make that money in the first month, and then it slowly tapers off, and eventually it just dies. Don't create a website that's going to die. Create a website that's going to be a long-term asset for you and your business, so that you don't put all the work in something that makes you a quick little you know bit of money right here, but then in three months you're completely broke because it's not making any money and you stopped working the business. Creating websites is a great way to make money. And I can tell you right now, this is one of the things that I do that I absolutely love. Now, I love to create new websites and that can really help people and can, can make sales and add to my, you know, to my income. However, websites are not, it's not the sexiest business because you're not behind camera. You're not, you know, out there in front, you know, talking to people, you're not teaching them, you know, a lot of new things. It's just a website. They never know who you really are. Okay, so if that's what you want to do, you want to be behind the scenes. You don't want to be seen. You don't want to be heard. You don't even care to be on camera. Whatever it is, websites is there for you. All right. So again, let me break down the numbers. Three thousand dollars per month. If you have six websites, let's just say you have uh, five websites. Okay, five websites. You make six hundred dollars per month per website. Or if you divide that by 30, you need to make $20 per day per website, which is going to come out to $100 total from your five websites or $3,000 per month. Now, make $100 per day, and there is 365 days in a year, you just made $36,500 from your five websites over the course of a year. Just think, what if you doubled that or tripled that? What if you had you know, 15 websites? You would have made over $100,000 from your websites, which is almost probably like a 90, 95% passive income stream that you didn't have right now. And simply because you made the change. So hopefully this helps you out. But if you enjoyed today's video, you like seeing kind of what I'm doing. Okay. I don't like to show a lot of my stuff because I did that years ago and people ripped it off. And, and so I learned from it. Okay. So if you ever want to know why I don't show you a lot of my stuff, well, I'll show you websites and you know things like that. Some of my courses, this is the reason why. Okay, but it's it's all, it's all it's all there. Okay, all you have to do, okay? and when I say all you have to do, it does require work, does require some time. Obviously, writing a twenty five hundred uh, word article doesn't just take a few minutes. Something you might have to sit down, take an hour, you know, half an hour, whatever, and do it. But it's something that could continue to pay you every single month for you know next six months, next year, next you know two or three years. I know I have websites right now that are six, seven, eight years old. That are continuing to pay me simply because I put in the work and I continue to do the maintenance on. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you want more free videos on how you can make money online today. I'll see you guys on the next one.